bat. It's going to be their center fielder, number 24, Gino Hutchinson. Plain gets ready to throw the first pitch. Ooh, that's hit. Out to left field. Will that stay fair? Coming all the way over from shortstop. That's Aiden Brunis all the way from shortstop making the at, making the catch. One down now for the Saints. Pitch. Hit. That's going deep. That is going back. That's off the wall out in left field. Runner will easily score. Trying to stretch it to a double, and he does. Lehman shows that power off, Robbie. He drove one all the way to the left field wall, scoring the run easily. Yeah, I mean, that ball was absolutely touched. But once again, you always wonder, you know, if he doesn't advance to second base on that pass ball, Future does Future looks right for the Cougars. As Plain delivers a 2-2, that one is grounded and fair. Down third baseline, runs coming around at the plate. No play as they go to second. They get the out at second, call there. Run at the plate. No run, says uh, says home plate umpire. He's going to put it on display here. Love looks in. Bruin, first pitch swinging. That is deep. Back to center. Good. Bye. Home. Run. Are you kidding me? Aiden Bruin, first pitch, first swing. See you later. Talk about a kid stepping up to the dish with a whole lot of confidence. Like I said, he's going to hunt the fastball. He knew he was getting one. And, yeah, that low and away fastball, he absolutely punished. And, you know, I didn't think I'd be doing this read this early in the game, but if you need your biz if you need your bases cleared, you should call Minuteman Sewer and Drain. They are bringing us our home runs today. They might get a lot of shout-outs if Aiden Bruin keeps doing that. They've already got one on the board. They've tied it, trying to take the lead. Rodriguez hits one. That's going deep right field. Right fielder with the catch. There it is out in the right field. That was by Adam Wilding. Makes the catch, gets the Saints out of the inning. Well, now he's going to try now to the back door and get him to chase away. Maybe a little weak ground ball to the right side. All right there. Down the middle, strikeout by Plain. His first on the day. Simply rinse your storage unit right on the website at Jackson Economy Storage. Comebacker right up the, right up by Plain by Nick Tiller. That'll put a man on for the Saints. You always tip the cap as a hitter when that does happen. We got another hit right here, out to center field. Center fielder lets it play on a hop. That hit was by Braden Hill. That now puts two men on for the nine hole hitter, Cole Mason. So that sets up low in the zone. It is low, it's right down, looks for a double play. Shortstop to first and double play. Gets the Cougars out of the inning. That was from Brunus over to Gonzalez to complete the double play. There's a hit again to right field. Wilding, really busy out there. Oh, it's off the top of the wall. Good by home run. The win could not hold that one back. See you later. And Minuteman is getting their money's worth today, Robbie. That's another home run for the Cougars. And you know now, if you need your bases cleared, you should call Minuteman Sewer and Drain. Like I said, big number 33's got some a lot of pop in that bat. Not the first time I've seen him go big fly in this place. But he uh, made me eat my words. I said, don't throw it in. Those positions are not alike. That takes versatile talent. That one called strike. And Wedock gets out of the inning. He does give up the solo home run. Excuse me, solo home run. Cougars now lead two to one. Off man for the Saints. So they've batted around now. They're back at the top of the order. He hits one. Oh, right to Amazing jumping catch by Brunus. We've seen him do everything. He's at home run. He's already made a long running catch, and he just made an amazing jumping catch. We'll have to get a replay of that here soon. Van Washinova sends it out. Deep center. Center fielder on the run. Cannot catch up to that with the deep gap. It looks like Wilding will come around third. He's digging hard. No throw to the plate. Wilding scores easily. We got a back and forth game here, Robbie. Seems like the Saints score. Cougars answer back and show that you are the best worst. And that one called strike on the inside corner. Plain gets a strikeout, his second on the day. That puts two men down. Oh, trying to block that ball, keep it in front of him. Oh, that one hit deep out to right field. Right fielder running back. Oh, just off of his glove, bounces off the wall, crashing head first into the wall. Run comes in to score. 
Van Washenova scores. Brock Olmstead, two bagger, RBI. Let's hope right fielder Ben Reed framing is almost the most important job of catcher nowadays. That one, though, hit right out to right center. Gets into the gap. That is going to score yet another run for the Saints. However, Backaway does stay at first base. He does not try to test the arm of Redfield out there at right. In front of him. He's had a lot of balls in the dirt that he's kept in front of him, getting his reps in there tonight. Tries to frame that one. Does get the frame job right there. That strikeout will get the Cougars out of the inning. Worse with the strikeout. Oh, he's in terminology, I like to say dirt instead <laughs> of turf. That one hit, though. Out to right field. Does bloop single right there. Blooped it right behind the first baseman. Bruden shows that he's got power, but he also has range. He can find those gaps. Absolutely. Like I said, sticking to his approach, he's up 2-1. He knows that his pitch is outside. If he gets it, he's going to keep me er, messing up those timings, switching them up as Connor D drives one wow. into the gap. Going back to the wall in the gap there. That's going to easily score the speedy Bruin. D gets to second base. He had the walk in the first, but that is an RBI double there by D, scoring the Speedy Bruin. He's going to do some damage. Pitch comes in. He does hit it, and he finds the gap in between short and third. Rounding. They do. They wave him home. It's going to be at the plate. The plate cut off, though, and safe at the plate. D had hesitation coming around third base. I didn't see if the coach was waving him in or not. He kind of stopped, and that hesitation almost cost him. Man on Luckily. first. Score tied. Gregory hits that one. Little bloop win really killed that one to third. Quick play by the third baseman. They get the out. Third baseman Cole Van Washenova with the play. Yeah, but you're still going to feel it. Oh, yes. Worst fires in there right back to worst. He gloves it, walks it right over to first. Just a casual flip like any old Sunday walk. He flips it right there. That gets him out of the inning with that comeback or talk about reaction time. And we are going. Bruin ready to swing. Oh, that's a big swing for the first time tonight. Bruin goes down on strikes, and that strikeout will end the fourth inning. Wind up look familiar, because I'm getting a little bit of some Justin Bruin. I am. I'm sorry to cut you off, Robbie. There is a hit by Olmstead. He goes to first base, and you know what's funny? As soon as you said that, Robbie, I looked at that, and I immediately thought Verlander. Now with a 1-0 count. Worse, fires it in. Tiller hits it down the line. Will it stay fair? It stays fair just barely. Runner rounds third. That's going to put the Saints on top as Tiller easily makes it in second base. Wow, that one just barely stayed in. But what's nice about the turf field, you can really see that turf bounce up, or excuse me, the beads bounce up. So as to get out just here with the pitch in the dirt, that one also gets away from Clother as he spikes it in front of the plate. Run, able to score on the wild pitch. Saints now lead by two. Rule in baseball that it applies all over. Mm -hmm. That one, though, right to Bruin. Bruin throws it over to first, and that gets them out of the inning. Worst, able to survive it. Does give up two runs. Let's throw their throwing part <laughs> a little bit and smoke a car. Man, oh, speaking about smoked, Bryce Ritchie right back up the middle. Great line drive single right there by Ritchie. Just staying on the front door breaking ball and just pokes it right up the middle. Ritchie. That's another fly down the right field line. Looks fair, and caught out there in right field by Redfield. Redfield takes it, gets the out, and that will end the top of the sixth inning. Started here later on in this game, down two. Ooh, Gregory, deep fly out to left. That one is going back, back, back. Goodbye, see you later. Braden Gregory with a solo home run. I don't know if you caught that, Max, but Braden Gregory, the second... That he knew it was gone. He stared it down a little bit. Watched it start to get up at its apex and flip that bat. Did it emphatically. I wish I was watching that. I was tracking that ball to make sure that thing was gone. It sounded like it was right off the bat. That was definitely see you later as we see the replay. Left fielder stood no chance. And yet again, that home run is brought to you by Minuteman Sewer and Drain. College level high school lover, they want to imitate that as a line drive rip right there by Gonzalez. We'll put him on first base. But I know, especially college level, um, Robbie, they've really been cracking down on that. And this is Redfields gets ready. That one going to be drilled right to the shortstop. Oh, close play at second. They call him out. That was very close. He winds up, throws the full count pitch. That one is ripped down to left field. 
left fielder D goes, picks it up. Runner's able to get the corners. Back away, thought about going to second base, but thought better of it after D's strong arm fires it back into the cutoff, man. He stays at first, men on first and third. Sienna Heights first base coach is Absolutely. Um, All right, Trammell. First one gets hit right back up, though. Gets past the diving second baseman. That's going to score a run for Sienna Heights. They now lead by two. Perfectly executed pitch there by Trammell, but just an even better piece of hitting. Right, really working hard tonight, especially with that wind kind of kicking over to the right field. Trammell. Strikeout. That's two in a row, and that gets the Cougars out of the inning. To Bryce Ritchie. Ritchie, though, hits that out to third base. Third, our left fielder plays on hop, fires it back in. Ritchie right there with a the single, his second hit of the day. Fire, he kind of waited to see what Ritchie would do. Oh, and strike three on the mound. Very quick pitch by Polidor. That one will end the top of the, set, or excuse me, the bottom of the seventh. You know, speaking of Tigers connections, Trammell just makes me think of Alan Trammell every time as that ball is grounded right to shortstop. There's one. Slow feed there, but able to get it in time. Bruin from shortstop over to second base. To... Trammell kicks, fires. That one hit. Oh, just over the second baseman's glove. Second baseman able to get some weather on it, but it just snuck over Sp uh, Spadeska's glove. First base hit right there for Jacob Jackson. That one deep to right field. Looks like it's going to stay in the park. Stay fair. Right field makes the catch, and that's Ben Redfield out there. He doesn't have to crash into a wall for that one. He can stay right there. That is going to end the top of the eighth inning. Nice wander with the release. Adams rips it to shortstop. There's one. There's two. Double play for the Saints. That gets them out of the top of the eighth inning. Cougars, excuse me, out of the bottom of the eighth inning. Cougars are going to trail by two, heading into the ninth. Four with a walk and two first base hits. That one, oh, there he goes. Oh, just an amazing catch by second baseman Jake Spidoski. He missed one earlier. He made up for it right there. Bomb fires. Bruin does hit one. It looks like it might be a bloop single. Will it get down? It does get down. Aiden Bruin comes in clutch yet again with a bloop single putting the winning run at the plate in Ben Redfield. And a fielder's choice. What can he do here? Oh, tries one, it gets away. The ball is away to the backstop. Both runners advance cleanly without a play. Well, maybe Renfield all he has to do is just stand there. Maybe he doesn't even have to swing the bat as the ball. Fires, that's a hit. That's going deep to the left field. Left fielder under it. Oh, he missed it. He has missed it. Both runners are going to try to come and score. One run around. Second base, Faith. They're going to try to test him at home. Oh, and it's safe at home. Game tied. Wow. The Spring Arbor Cougars tie the game, and Ben Redfield goes from zero to hero for the game. Man who had had over four, like Robbie and I said, takes one hit. He blew that out to left field, as we will see here in the replay. Replay right over Cole Mason's head. Cole Mason was so close, Robbie, to making that play. Yeah, I mean, you hang a breaking ball to a kid, to a hitter like Ben Redfield. He's hitting second in this order for a reason. Yeah, did he have no hits coming into that bat? Absolutely. But not only does Score Coach Mark run, there it is, but it's not deep, and that might not do it. That's on the infield. Right fielder makes it. Oh, they're going to test it. They are testing the arm. Oh, and it's coming home. Play the plate. Out. Oh, out double play. Oh, boy, Robbie. Well, we asked for it. Commentator's curse. We're getting extra baseball. That one hit. Will this be the first hit? It does. It gets down in the gap. Center fielder cuts it off. That was Rodriguez out there in center field, but Hutchinson does get his first hit here in extra innings. And that puts the washing over, dribbles one to third base. It does stay fair. Close, but out at first base. Great play by Bryce Ritchie over there at third base. It's gonna be Bob or it's gonna go or they're gonna go home. That one deep. Looks like it's gonna stay in the park. Center fielder on it. And that's the catch. Well. 
Again, we asked for it, Robbie. Even more baseball, folks. We're going to the top of the 11th inning. There's no way he stays out there. That one, well, right to second baseman. Easy flip there for the force out. That saves the Cougars. Jake Spadoski at second. Getting Save. ejected out of this game and his next man up every and single right time. There, next man up might win the game. It's through. The run's coming. And the Cougars walk it off. Oh, Jake Zeeb have a day as the water cannons go with a Gatorade bath for Jake Zeeb, the man who was on the bench. The only reason he came into this game, Robbie, was because of an ejection, and he just walked it off for the Cougars. Man, oh, man. What a great game to call for JTV's first collegiate baseball game. The Cougars walk it off in the 11th. The great Tom Brady always said, be ready for when your opportunity presents itself. And Jake Zeeb did just that. And once again, I will say this. That is the second extra inning walk-off single this week for the Spring Arbor Cougars.